questions to keep myself aligned. Waste away the hours doing what I should. Knowing that my soul tells me it's not for my own good. Today is about balance. <sighs> like uh, this is, like I said, is one of the things that I have the most trouble with because and I think that my mindset around balance is if you want something to manifest in your life, then you are going to do whatever you can to help that manifestation. But then there's this other law, you know, we've heard of law of attraction, but now there's this other law that's called the law of reverse effect. And the law of reverse effect tells us, and this is, this is stuff that I teach my hypnosis students when I'm teaching them in a class, and it's like the law of reverse effect states, the harder you push on something, the harder you work at it, the harder you focus all of your attention on that, the further away it gets from you. So interesting and very true. So yes, there's a law of attraction, but then there's the law of reverse effect. So you need to find your balance between the two. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about today is the balance. So think of the projects, the things that our lives, we, we get involved in. Okay, so let's, let me just backpedal here. Let's say you're a mom, okay, a mom, and you've got kids and, um, you know, you've got soccer games and ballets and and school curricular activities and your own stuff for your for your family, your husband, and you're just like running around all over the place doing a lot of things. You are this this human doing, and there's at the end of the day, you're like, and you still at the end of the day after doing all of those things. You think about all the things that you didn't get done. Right? I didn't get this done. I have time for that. That didn't work out well. You know, you don't sit back and go, good day. Right? Most of us don't do that. We go, oh my God, I didn't get this done. And I still have that done to do tomorrow. And ah, life is too hard. Right? So it's like, that's where we go with things. And, you know, it's the same is true in all of the roles, in all of your lives, in, in all of your life depend doesn't matter what the gender is so if you're a man you know you've got some stuff that you have to do too but the interesting thing about men is and you know we as women especially when we have a lot of things to do in the house we kind of get mad at them because it's like come on like how can you just sit there when there's all this stuff to do right I mean there's a happy medium right so let everything in moderation but it's like because those things will get done right and and it doesn't all have to happen today right so men are able to kind of they're they're easier they they are able to detach themselves from things for a moment okay some of them go, go overboard with it but they are able to attach themselves from things they are they can do this better than women i think sometimes so Sometimes we have to walk away from things. Escape and go away from your daily routine to become more efficient and productive. I experienced this on my two-week road trip when I was going to two hypnosis conferences because they were both in the States, not too far away from each other. I decided not to fly and to drive. So I drove from one to the next. And some of my drives, some of the legs were like eight hours, six hours. There was one leg that was like 11 hours. And... Instead of listening to music and my audiobooks and trying to get myself, make myself better and learn more things. And, you know, while I was all this time in this car, I decided to just have silence when I was in the car. Outside of maybe a few hours on all of those legs, I didn't listen to anything. I just had quiet. And most of my trip was raining. Most of it was raining. And I was on the I-70 and some other highways like that where there's like 10 trucks to every one car. So, you know, it was a little bit, and potholes, like potholes in the States, there's lots of potholes on some of these highways. So, you know, I had to be aware of what I was doing, but I was also able to sort of take myself into this state of 
sabbatical. I want to call it a state of sabbatical, a mental sabbatical, and just almost drive with my peripheral. I was fully aware what was going on, but I just kind of somehow had just went inside myself. And a lot of answers to a lot of clarity came during those trips. But it, the, the thing that I think I felt was that I was starting to find some balance. I was feeling, I could feel way more connected because I just was letting it happen. And I wasn't just this human doing, trying to work on all my million projects that I'm always working on. So to avoid being consumed by anything, you need to walk away from it. To avoid being consumed by anything, you need to walk away from it. Then you can see your work, your family, from a perspective that is from more, like from further away. So Leonardo da Vinci, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, we all know who he is. He has this quote where he says, and he wrote in the 14th century, Every now and then, go away. Have a little relaxation. For when you come back to your work, your judgment will be surer. Since to maintain constantly at work will cause you to lose power of judgment. Get some distance away. Because the work appears smaller and more of it can be taken in at a glance. And, at a, lack of, and a lack of harmony or proportion is more readily seen. So what he's trying to say here is, and I don't know if the way that I read it gave it justice, but what he's saying is when you can walk away from something and look at something from a distance, you can actually see the whole thing. You can see it with more clarity. If you're up in it all the time, you can't see stuff when it's right here. You can't really get a really good look at it. But if you can just step away from it, if you can step away from it and see it from a distance, you can see the whole picture right? You can see it clearer. You gain clarity, which is awesome. And you know, we all have those Netflix days, you know, those days where maybe we call in sick to work or it's a Sunday and we have all these things to do, but we throw on Netflix and we're there for the whole day. Like we don't move. And I know that a lot of you are, are like, uh, know what I'm talking about because even I do that. So but then we feel guilty because we didn't get all the stuff done that we wanted to get done. So then we feel guilt about taking that time for ourselves, right? Don't. I'm not saying let every day be a Netflix day. I'm saying take those days and treat them like a sabbatical. Take those days and just relax with them. Be okay with the fact that you just took a day off and had this sabbatical of Netflix, or you had this sabbatical of you got in your car and you went for a drive, All right? Good morning. Good morning to the people that are watching. So sometimes you have to walk away from things to gain a better perspective of what it is. So I really like that um, quote from Leonardo da Vinci, where he says, you know, if you look at a painting, if you are, and, and our lives are the same thing. So if I have if, if my project is right here, how am I going to see it? I need to walk away from it so that I can look at it and go, oh, now I can see the whole thing. And that is more clear. And look at what I missed here. And there's something that I could pay attention to there. Look how much I got done, right? So sometimes we don't even realize how far, how much we have accomplished because we are so close and so up in its face that we really can't see and appreciate the work that we've done because we're so focused on what we haven't done yet. So balance, yes, that is a, a bit of a challenge for me and something that I always have to pay attention to. Um, don't try so hard and remove the struggle and allow natural divine guidance to assist you. So sometimes when we put too much attention onto it, we're actually, like I said, the law of reverse effect when we pay too much attention to it, when we're on it all the time, it becomes blurred. Like we're just all of a sudden not knowing where we are and we're just not letting nature take its course, so to speak. We're not letting it bloom because we're watching it. We're watching it. You know, we're just right on it. 
so we have to walk away, which is very true about quantum physics. The interesting thing about quantum physics, there's this really cool video that I watched on that. It was like this cartoon video, and there's this really cool video that I watched on quantum physics, and you know, all these balls, you know, there's this wall with some slats in it, and all these balls are going through the slats. They're being, you know, like those tennis machines that throw the ball, they throw the ball, throw the ball. So imagine that being like really ramped up and all these balls are going through these slats in this wall and they're hitting another wall that's behind them. So you would imagine that they're just going to go exactly to those, you know, wherever the slats are on the other side of that wall, that's where the ball is going to go. And quantum physics shows that if you watch, if you just let it happen, the balls are going to go through the slats, but they're also going to separate and they're going to end up all over the wall behind them, right? But if you watch them going through, then they just directly go through and hit the wall behind them and just cause the, it's hard to explain without actually seeing it, but it's amazing. Like if you watch it something, it will not, it will not perform naturally if you are on it and you're staring at it. And that is something that's proven by quantum physics. The mere, the mere act of observing will change what happens, right? Will change what happens. So if Karen knows about this, hi Karen, Karen knows about this, you know that quantum physics, um, the, mere, the mere act of watching something will not allow that thing to perform naturally. So sometimes to find balance from our projects, we need to walk away and not be staring at it and be up in its face like this so that we can let it, let the outcome just happen the way that it should happen naturally. Okay. It is, it's kind of a weird law and it's kind of weird how quantum physics works this way, but it does. So, you know, allow yourself to walk away from things so that you can see it clearly from a distance rather than being up in its face and like I said this is a difficult this is a difficult technique for me because I just work 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 and then and then I'm like okay you know what do I still need to do so I need to learn to back away and look at what I've done look at the work that I've done right so that's the power of actually getting things done. So there's the law of attraction, but then there's the law of reverse effect. And you need to find the balance between those two laws for things to really manifest for you, for you to find balance in your life, okay? Allowing yourself to go into a meditative state. Why? You know, we talk about meditation, but why do you want to go into a meditative state? What's the purpose of that? Think of it like a mini sabbatical, right? You are going into this space and stepping away from all your roles and all your projects and everything to just move inside for a little bit or move out into the universe and expand, right? And when you and within that space because you've walked away from it, you will find clarity things will, you'll come back and you will work and perform more efficiently. Okay? Because you can see things better because you understand them better because in that meditative state, it's amazing how many great ideas will show up. It's amazing. will just show up. You weren't even thinking about them and then boom, there they are, right? So it's, that's what happened when I was doing that road trip, you know, especially on that 11 hour leg. All of a sudden I was like, Oh my God, I didn't think about that. How did I not know that? How did I not feel? All of these things were jumping into my head that I wasn't thinking about. I was just focusing on the road and just sort of put myself into that kind of zone. And then all of a sudden, wham, 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 stuff was coming from everywhere. So it's a wonderful way to just disassociate for a little while, step away from it. And all of a sudden, when you walk back into it, you have more clarity, more balance. Okay. Um, the less stress you place on yourself to complete a task, 
you seem to gain more power at that task. So if you put too much pressure on yourself, it's the law of reverse effect, right? The harder you push at it, the harder it's going to push away from you, okay? So that's just how the law of reverse effect works. The more you struggle to get it done, you focus all your attention on it, it just seems to get further and further away from you, okay? So you need to find that balance of working on something, working on your projects, doing your tasks throughout the day, but still being able to walk away and disassociate from those things and also be, have gratitude for the things that you actually did accomplish and achieve that day. Somebody said something really interesting to me on this during one of these hypnosis conferences that I was at and it just hit home. I don't know why it hit home, but it's just something that I repeat all the time. So he says, when you're working on all of your projects, he goes, just think about 1% per day. 1% per day. All you need to do is 1% per day. Right? In, in 100 days, the project will be done. So 1% per day. And I've been doing that, right? So I've been give, not giving myself small tasks, but just, you know, I'm working on this, and then I'm going to walk away from it. And now I can sort of sit at the end of the day and go, I had a good day. Like, I got some stuff done today. And maybe I even did more than 1%, but I got some stuff done today. And whereas before this road trip, I was like, I would, at the end of the day, I would be like, oh my God, I've worked all day and I still have all this stuff to do, right? Why do this stuff, like, it never ends, right? So I, I knew that taking this road trip was going to change my life somehow. I don't know how I knew it, but when I got in the car and I packed my bags and I threw them in there and I started driving, I was like, this trip is going to be life-changing for me. And I don't know why, but... Let's just go with it. And it was just that. It was finding some time for me, taking that sabbatical, that time away from all of this hamster on a wheel thing that I was doing with myself, right? So finding balance is very important. When you detach from your outcome, you allow the outcome to take care of itself. That is, that is quantum physics, people. That is quantum physics. The more you observe it and you're on it, you are not going to get that natural outcome that you want. Okay? It's not going to turn out the way that you want. You need to just allow it. Give it time. So that's important as well. So here's my challenges to you today. Practice detaching from the outcome of the projects and just be in the moment. So don't worry about the outcome so much of what's going to be happening. You already know what your end game is. You already know the end game. You know what you want the outcome to be. Now just detach yourself from that and just start working in the moment. Right? Just work on what you're working on in that moment and don't wrap yourself up in a thousand different things. To take time to do nothing and to walk away. To do nothing. Have a Netflix day. Have a... Go do some trail walking. Go... Do some meditation, go sit at the beach, go for a drive, you know, go walk in a mall, whatever it is, but just do something else, right? Do something else. And when you come back to work on your project, you will find that you are more efficient. Okay. So that is just to take some time and do nothing and to walk away and don't feel guilty about it. You are actually helping your project. Okay. You are actually helping what you're working on. You're actually helping it by walking away from it. Okay, um, three, just ask for clarity. And that is that time of meditation, right? Just ask for clarity and then it's like a contemplation meditation, you know? Can you give me some clarity about this project or whatever it is that you're working on? And then just move into your meditation and don't think about anything else. The answers will come, they will come. If not in that meditation, they will come soon after. You will get the answers, they will show up. Trust me on that. Um, and four, take your mini sabbaticals. Take those mini sabbaticals. Okay? So this is something that I, myself, am very challenged with, is finding my balance, taking some time for me. Um, but it's something that I am being very cognizant of now and paying attention to and making a priority in my life is to find balance so I can be better at the things that I do. So that's what I'm going to share with you today is balance. Okay. 
So have a great day. I hope you, that you learned something from that today and you can relate to some of the things that I've been talking about today because I relate to all of it because I am so like, that's, that's, a, that's a challenge for me. But I'm going to do it, right? And so will you. So have a fantastic day and I will see you guys tomorrow morning, if not later today. Talk to you later. Bye. Look at my reflection in the mirror I see. The person who lives inside of me Done with all the fear and doubts The negativity I'm shedding all the crap right now I'm stepping in